Hey kids, it's Pastor Austin and Mr. Brandon here with this week's Big Tree. All right, so welcome back. We are in guide seven of our new creation series. And those of you that are in third, fourth, and fifth grade, we're talking about eternity. So are you ready for our big truth this week? It's eternal life exists for eternal worship. Eternal life exists for eternal worship. So in other words, we're talking about eternity. We're talking about um, how, that, how that exists in new creation as a part of God's new creation. Why does eternal life exist? It exists for eternal worship of God. So let's take a look at our Bible verse this week that talks about that. So our Bible verse this week is in Revelation 19, verses five through six. And this is gonna connect to our Bible story we're gonna mention here in a few minutes. But Revelation chapter 19, verses five through six, listen carefully and see if you can figure out where our big truth is for this week. It says this, and from the throne came a voice saying, praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder crying out, hallelujah, for the Lord our God almighty reigns. And so when you read those verses there that are in Revelation chapter 19, verses five through six, what, what kind of stands out to you? Well, it's worship, right? Is that this is a scene of what we're gonna be experiencing, those that are Jesus followers, what we're gonna be experiencing for eternity. Over and over and over and over again, we're going to be worshiping God. So let me read those verses again with that in mind. So Revelation 19, five through six. And from the throne came a voice saying, praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, crying out, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the almighty reigns. So why does eternal life exist? Eternal life exists for eternal worship. And that's what we're talking about this week. So Mr. Brandon has a hook for us that's gonna unpack that a little bit more. Yeah, so for our hook this week, um, we want you guys just to have a little bit of discussion around worship. Um, you know, when we say we worship something, we elevate that to a, a level of importance. Uh, it holds an important position in our lives. We look to it for um, comfort, for a pleasure, you know, whatever those things are. But there can be a good worship and there can be bad worship. You know, a, apart from Christ, and we, we, we can lift things up to the level where Christ should be. You know, we, we create idols in our lives. Um, but as you just said, you know, eternal life creates eternal worship. Our worship should really just be focused on God and who God is. So what I want you guys to do this week is just to have a conversation um, about what are some things that are bad worship, things that we've elevated to the position of an idol in our lives. And a list of things of how we worship God, you know, whether it's through reading the Bible or singing praise songs to Him. And just talk about what those things are and maybe even have the discussion of, how can we remove those idols from our lives? That's good. So talking about worship this week. So again, why does worship, uh, why does eternal life exist? It exists for eternal worship. So I encourage you guys to be talking about that this week um, in, in your small groups or in your families um, this week as we're talking about eternal worship. So we have a Bible story that's gonna connect right to that. And it connects also to our Bible verse for this week. And it's found in Revelation. So it's Revelation chapter 14 and Revelation chapter 19, which is some of what we just read. So we encourage you guys, read chapter 14, read chapter 19 of Revelation. And as you do that, you're gonna see and hear things that kind of lead us to understand more about eternal worship and what that looks like and how we're gonna experience that. We hope you guys have a great week talking about that this week. We will see you right back here next week. See you soon, guys.